Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we're going to be going over my 1350 scale Titanic. And I know you have probably seen the last uh, models that I've done. I promise you, this one is better. <laughs> like I said, the other models is when I was first starting out to get practice. But here's the uh, model of how it looks in stock. Mine does not look anything like this. Because I went the extra mile and added all the extra photo etch details. And I got my photo etch by Tom's Model Works. How much it costed. Got this from the Titanic Museum. But, anyway. That's the box. That is my ship I built. For starters, before we go over the ship... Here is the one 600 scale model. And here is the one 700 scale model. You can see the difference already. So, enough of that. Let me put these aside. And let me drag the big Titanic this way. Okay, this is the one 350 scale Titanic I built. So let me zoom in, and we'll get all the detail work of this. Like I said, I went the extra mile, I added some things, I added some photo etch. So there's the thing I added, this is wire, this is a piece of wire, this is the wire you see me using on the, uh, the hatcher build. This is the, um, the, the lino, the lino stuff, or I forget what it's called, but, uh, this is the rigging that they give you with the 350 scale model, the little wire looking stuff. I kept that. Zoom in. Here are the, uh, the anchor chains. You can see I've got the anchor in there. This is some more uh, metal wire right here, this uh, right there over the anchor chains. That's more metal wire that I inserted in there myself. There's a little steam valves. That's metal wire right there that you see. That's a uh, little bitty uh, cabling or uh, winch system that I made up myself. You got the anchor over there. Photo etch on the skylight. Cargo hatch. Metal pieces made down there. That's metal wire glued together to make those. Whole lot of photo etch in the, uh, the winches. Well, not the winches, but the cranes. That's metal wire right there that's draped over top the winches. It's like a big old piece of metal wire draped over top and painted to hold them down in place. We have photo etch in the windows. We have a little photo etch, um... Don't know if I can get it in view or not. I'll try. I'm gonna zoom in. Right there, we have a little photo etch gate. I can't get it in the camera for some reason. Up here, we got all kinds of photo etch, photo etch railings, photo etch uh, oars in the lifeboat, and then we have photo etched ropes all over the lifeboats. I'll try to get this in view the best I can, but. These actually have the decal stickers. Yeah, it's not wanting to... It's not wanting to pick up in the camera. But it's it's there. Let me try wiping off the lens of the camera. Now let's try it again. Yeah, it's not... For some reason, it's not wanting to pick it up. But you see, I got photo etch windows, photo etch, lifeboat details... I use the photo etch benches. You can see that that's a photo etch bench. I added um, the photo etch gates that's on the top of the deck right there and down here too. You can see it's got the gates photo etched. I added the little tiny, tiny photo etch deck chairs. 
You can see that we got some photo edge deck chairs. For some reason, my camera wants to be stupid and not pick up all this. There we go. You can see there are photo edge deck chairs. I mean, there is a whole lot of photo edge on this. It's even got the little photo etch crane hooks on the cranes. Right there, photo etch crane hooks. Uh, that's pieces of wire painted brown and just glued onto the deck to try to make those uh, the bracers that's on the um, the sides of the well deck. You can see it there. The photo etch steps. More uh, photo etch stuff. Uh, that's pieces of wire that I made right there. It's pieces of wire that I made and just glued them in place. It's on both sides. Uh, photo etch um, davits. The davits are all photo etch. And that was some really, really small detail to create. You can see that photo etch davits. I'm sorry, the camera's not picking it all up. And here's these little cables that I told you about. That's um, that certain stuff that they provide you with it's kind of hard to pick that up in camera let me zoom back up on the boat it's so thin stuff that it just can't be picked up in camera it's like this uh this like wire stuff that they send you like a some kind of a string i forgot the name of it but uh firmament that's it firmament it's this uh it's this uh firmament stuff that they call it that they send you in the model You can see here all of the, the cranes are painted green. That's photo etched stuff right there added. There's a whole lot of photo etched windows in this thing. This thing actually lights up too. I just don't have the batteries to put in it. Otherwise I would show you. Because uh, I added um like this right here. I bought these from the uh, Hobby Lobby. And you can see I just ain't got the batteries. But... It takes a lot of batteries in this thing. And it's got this two setting systems. Basically, if you saw my um, Harry Potter Hogwarts uh, paper craft that I built, the, the castle that I built myself, then I added the lights in it. This is the same lighting system. It has two uh, functions, uh, standard lights and flashing lights. That way I can make it look like it was sinking. But I got one there, I got one there, and I got one there. There's like three, so that's four, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 batteries you would have to have, 12 AA batteries you would have to have to power all this. <sighs> Here's the back of the ship. We have the, uh, the Titanic notice signs at the back. With their Titanic notice. Flag. Sorry, I'm losing focus. The flag. Then here's all of the details at the back, all the photo etch I've added. I've even added the anchor at the back. I mean, there's so much photo etch on here. It's on here. It's just, the camera just does not want to pick it all up. The decks are real wood. That's real wooden decks that I've added. But back then when I built this, I got all my parts from Tom's Model Works. I don't know if Tom's Model Works still exists or not. But that's where I got all my photo etch details for this 350 scale Titanic. Photo etch on the funnels. You have the photo etched ladders. This is all photo etch. Get you to the... Let me turn this ship around. Get you to the front. That's all photo etched ladders on the funnels. And there's the uh, American flag hoisted. But you can see there is a lot of photo etched detail added in here. The name I painted on myself with a paintbrush, you can see there, it says Titanic. I painted the line on the ship. We try here the poor holes interfered, you know, with the painting of the line. But I painted that.
You got photo etched added here to the sides. You have all these photo etched cranes added down the side of the Titanic. More photo etched gates, windows, deck chairs. That uh, compass tower is photo etched. I replaced the real parts with photo etch. Going all the way down the ship. But you can see all the detail is here on this one. Let me try to get y'all a better detail of the forecastle. And all the photo etch that was added into this photo castle. Or this uh, forecastle. You can see there, there's the uh, photo etched stuff. Like I said, I had extras of those left over and I just used it on the um, hatcher model. But there's the um, anchor chains. Photo etched uh, little bitty gate thing that they stand on at the front of the ship. And the anchors in there. The bollards, the capstans. I mean, it's it's all there. Even right there. This so far, until I get the um, Hatcher model fully built, is the most detailed Titanic model that I own. And um, right here, uh, I had to design this myself. This is a little piece of plastic that I glued at the front of the ship. And I just drilled a hole through it. I had to design those uh, that right there because they didn't add that. And on the real Titanic on the movie, I saw it had that, so I had to make it have that. You can see, unfortunately, gnats have gotten to this thing. Which is uh, why I went the extra mile on the, um, the Hatcher model, and I actually got the, uh, the set from Agora models that includes the case. So I gotta try my best to keep the boat protected until I get a hold of the case, because we won't receive the case until the model is almost complete. The railings are looking good. Captain's cabin, all of that. This is, like like, like I said, real wood. I took a gold paint here when I first built this thing. Where is it at? I lost it. There it is. And I tried painting the expansion joint. Those are photo etched skylights. Photo edge on that skylight. That's where the grand staircase would be. And there's the uh, secondary grand staircase right there. That's photo etched on the skylight. More uh, deck chairs, like I said, the deck chairs, the the benches, they're all photo etched. All of the cranes are photo etched. These um, things going right up here, what are they? Like ladder things that go up the mast. They're photo etched. Let me see if I can turn this. This is a really huge ship to turn. Oh, up here too, I'll show you. This is really hard to get on, but I got it on. Uh, the uh, decal water line, that gives you the water line information. That's on there. And then back here at the back. You can see the decals on there. This ship is so uh, huge and long, it's hard to turn. Alright. Get it to the back here. Here we go. Sorry about that. Here we go. Here's the notice sign. Let me zoom this out. We're too far zoomed in. And then down here... You can see right there, Titanic Liverpool. I actually gotten better at my paintwork, and I painted that on the ship. I didn't trust the decal sticker, because at the time I didn't know about the decal solution that, I, that you can buy. The decal set, it's like a decal setting solution. I bought it from the Hobby Lobby, and that's how I got the decals on right there. I tried painting those wards on. I just couldn't do it, so I had to use the decals. That's like some, that would have been required some really small paintwork. Right back here is the back of the ship. You can see we got some... Uh, some photo etch back there on all of that. It even has a door back there. I mean, there's just so much detail added in this 350 scale. 
I can't wait till I get the Agora models Titanic built and see all the detail in it because I mean it's going to be much bigger than this one right here and we're going to have so much more detail than we got right here. Get you a shot of the propellers. Let me just set you down here a minute. Turn you around. And this thing does come off. I'll try to show it on camera right there. It does come off, but, uh, well, my hand's in the way. Right there, you can see I drilled holes in the bottom of the boat and I fed the wires. Hang on, man. And I fed the wires up the ship. But yeah, it does come off and it just sits right back down onto its uh, stand. But, zoom out. That is my uh, 1 slash 350 scale Titanic. I kept with the stand, but I also did keep some photo etch. And um, the photo etch details is right there. Let me see here. You can see there it says uh, model kit. Model kits. Like I said, my photo etch stuff came from Tom's Model Works. But there is um, the 1 slash 350 scale Titanic that I built. I hope this video came out good. I tried getting everything in, but the, the camera just doesn't want to, you know, pick up everything. But that is my 1 slash 350 scale Titanic. And um, also, I forgot to show you, that crow's nest is photo etch. That's a photo etched crow's nest that I put in there. I replaced it with the original plastic one and put the photo etch on there. And down here too, it's hard to get in picture, but these, um, the cranes down there, the anchor cranes has got some photo etch in it. You can see right there, I added the, like a little photo etch wheel. I also did that on the other side. But that's going to do it for this uh, review of the 1 slash 350 scale Titanic. You all have a blessed one, and I will see you guys in my next video. And goodbye.